okay so i welcome you to this class here i'll be showing you how to create a plus content on amazon kdp right so the first thing to do is to come to your marketing see marketing here then you see where it says a plus content you come here and tap on choose choose amazon.com and click on manage a plus content you see where it says start creating a plus content tap on it and here we are i said i should name this let me give this a name prayers against household craft a plus content yes so us english yes leave it as leave it at us english all right so the next thing to do is to come here where it says add model so tap on it so there are only two measurements there are two major measurements that i like to use here one is this first one that you can see here which is six six hundred by 180 okay tap on it i want to add another module right so you click on you tap on add another module the next one i want to add here is this one that says standard image header text this particular one here that's the one i want to use next then i take it i want to add it again i come below again and tap on add module all right please follow carefully add module i take it again so i've gotten what i want now the next thing to do is to head straight to canva where we design all of what we need okay so let me come to canva head straight to my canva app okay here yeah, so i come here to my canva custom size 600 by 180 okay changes to inches let me see 600 okay sorry leave it at pixels 600 by 180 create new design and here we are so let's begin our design okay no time to waste straight to come here i like to do for something first okay i want to do a mock-up i want to do a mock-up using this website so i come to my kiwi browser to do the makeup please follow me carefully okay so i type i type in diy book cover yes this is you i want to do the mock-up okay so i come here i want just a single book which one should i use right now okay, let me use this first one okay let me use this first one let me see there's another one i can use now that first one is really okay for me or i can use this one here let me use this one here yes i've selected this the next thing i click on next I come to where it says browse here's the image i want to use i tap on it upload allow it to load okay it is downloading click on next please pay close attention okay here is the image next thing i want to do is to download it as png let me view it and see yes this has been downloaded this has no background if you wanted to have have a background you simply come here and download as jpeg let's see the difference right now let's view it and see sorry downloads
I click on plus sign, come to sorry, come to upload, upload files. So I pick this one without a background, okay. So I tap on it. Here it is. I zoom this, okay. I zoom it. Okay, I am okay with this size the way it is, alright. So the next thing I want to do is to come and change. Um, I might want to change this. Yes, let me change the background of this to let me change the color. Studio for the color. I like this color. Let me leave it that way. Yes. So this color is nice by me. I'm okay with this color. So I want to write something on it. Okay. I want to add a text on it. So I've I have my text written. So I come here. Where I have my text written to my in my notes. Not keep. It's very warm. Learn how to pray so you don't become a so you don't become pray. I copy it. Come back here. Click on the plus sign. Go to text. Come here. And paste what I copied, okay? But I want to change the color and the font. First of all, let me change the font. This is the this is the most suitable font I use. Mont Agna. This very one here. Choose it. Yes. Yes. So I increase the size of this. Please watch me closely, okay? Increase the size of this. Come here, make all this capital letter. Are you seeing what I'm doing? It stands better this way, okay? Yes, increase a little bit. So we continue the next thing i want to do here is to come and change the color of this okay so i come here come to color i don't want to change this to white yes let me see if i can bold it okay i can't bold it but i love it the way it is okay so you can see learn how to pray so you don't become free i love this this is the first one so i don't want to do more I'm okay with this one the way it is like this. The next thing I want to do is to come and save it. Come here. Download. I'm downloading it as PNG, okay? Download. So, save to gallery. This very one has been downloaded. So, we'll move on to the next one. So, we'll come back here. What's the size of that one? Let's come and see the size here. Okay, 970 by 600. So we come back here. We click on create a design like you did the first one. Custom design. 970 by 600. Okay, you can see Amazon product description here. So click on create new design. So you come here i want to change the color of this okay please pay close attention then i come here import that same image i imported before from the uploads okay i want to use that image to get the perfect color i need yeah so i come here color you can see what i did Instead of choosing instead of choosing color i came here i tap on color 
touch this very place here touch this thing that looks like pencil then I use it to toggle around this thing click on done yes so let me remove this now this is the text I want to use on that design so I come to my phone for my Bible NIV version that's what I want to use there okay, this is KJV let me take this NIV okay second Corinthians 10 verse 4 Yes, this is what I want to use. I'll just come here and copy it. Copy verse. So, I don't have to waste too much time. Come here, choose text. So, I've pasted what I copied. Corinthians 10 verse 4. Remove all that. Please pay attention, okay? Let me pause this video and edit this so the video doesn't get too long. I have done this. The next thing is to come and change the color of the text, okay? So you come back here, tap on color, change the color of the text to white. Yes, I am good to go. I want to add some fancy text. Let me say color or something like that. Come here, tap on plus, maybe flower, some designs. Tap on that, you look for flower flowers let's look for something you can see i'm doing this without the canva pro let me come here and pick this flower yes i'm okay with this Let me copy this, bring it to this place, come here, position, take it backward, yes, leave it the way it is, come here, reduce this a little bit, yes, I am okay with this the way it is, okay? So the next thing I would want to do is to save this without wasting time. I come here and save it. Click on download. Download. Okay. Voila. So we are done with this. On to the next one. I'll be using this same measurement. Okay. But different text. So the next thing I want to do, uh, I'll just remove this text. I'll just come here and change the text. Let me see. I have what I want to do already written out. Here's what I want to do. Unleash the power within Psalm 82 verse 6. So I come here. Remove it. Clean everything here, okay? Unleash the power within. Yeah, uh, I take this now, take it up to this place. This one, too. No. I mean, I'm not a designer. I'm just trying my best because of my business. So, okay, it's okay the way it is. Now, the next thing I want to do is to come here, come back to this place, and get the scripture Psalm 82, verse 6. Let me get it. I will use King James Version for the Bible. Let me get this. Yes. Come here. Psalm 82 verse 6. So I copy this.
come here yes yes so I take this up a little bit Next thing I would want to do is to come here. I want to add something else, okay? Let me choose, let me search for it. Cross. Okay, so I pick this. Yes. Let me see. No, this is better this way. Yes. I come here. I come here again, tap it, copy it, bring it to this very side, okay? I want to flip it. Flip. Let me see. Yes, I flip horizontal, okay? I flipped it horizontal. You bring it this way. Please, are you paying attention? I'm sure you are. It's not okay yet for me. Okay. All right, so I'm okay with this the way it is. I am very okay with it the way it is. So the next thing I want to do is to just save nothing more. Come here and download this. We are we are done with this. Okay, click on download. Yes, as PNG, download it. That's all, nothing more, nothing less. We are done with the next thing is to move back to Amazon. Okay, come back here to Amazon, tap on this, add image. This is the image, the first one. Yes, done. Describe okay, image keyword prayers against household witchcraft yes that is it click on add yes we are done adding this one on to the next this done okay um deliverance prayers okay add okay done with this on to the next one which is this lastly done okay add yes i'm done with this okay i'm done with this so after the upload now that we are done uploading the next thing is to come up here 
you can see where it says next apply AS ions so here come and apply your AS ion so let me go and get my AS ion okay I won't be showing you that but I have to go and get it do not copy another person's AS ion otherwise your book and your accounts will get banned and terminated your book will be banned and your account will be terminated avoid using another person's asin make sure you use the asin of your own book i am sounding this as a clear warning to you good luck i have added the asin okay so the next is to click on apply content yes i have done that then i come here as you can see they say your asin have been applied when you are finished applying ASIN, click review and submit. And this is it here. Review and submit. Click on it. So continue and click on submit for approval. Submit for approval. okay they said your changes have been saved your content was successfully submitted for approval please remember to update your catalog content if changed remember to update your catalog content if changed so we are done with this the next thing is for us to wait for the what's it called wait for the approval the approval usually takes some days probably three to four days sometimes so be patient while waiting for the approval okay so this was what we designed it's simple the way it is here you can be more creative in doing yours but this is me showing you the basics how it works you can see my words i've used my words here to tell them a um, little bit of what they will get when they get the book okay so this is it you can be more creative like i said but in being creative please be cautious thanks for staying true see you in our next class Wait, there was a mistake. I misspelled something. So I want to go and correct it by editing something. So I need you to follow me closely and see how you two can edit something. By adventure, you make a mistake while uploading your book. Follow me. Let's go. So like I said, I spelled something wrongly. We am supposed to put C. I put T there. And it's after I am done uploading my book. Uh, my content that I saw that it was T I put instead of C. So let's correct it, okay? Hope you can see it. Let us correct it. Please pay detailed attention. Pay attention to the arrow as I am pointing it one by one. That is how you will correct any mistake you make while uploading your E plus content. So you click on add model and click the standard image header with text, okay? Mind you, I have already corrected this in Canva, so all I need to do is to upload it straight up, no wasting time, okay? So I upload it and write a related keyword to my book right below it, okay? Um, what should I write? Okay, deliverance prayer. Yes, I'm okay with that. And after that, you click on add and watch it upload. Voila. So after that, the next thing to do is to click on apply your ASIN. After you've applied your ASIN, the next thing is to wait for your ASIN to be applied. Then you click on review and submit. And after clicking on review and submit, you click on submit for approval. That's the final stage. Thank you once more for staying true. See you in our next class.